In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a distressed ink bleed effect on your text using Photoshop. Let's go. So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So this effect is really versatile. You can use it on text or illustrations. You could also use it on an image if you use like a threshold filter and it creates a really cool distressed ink bleed effect. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing to do is get an artboard set up and I've got one here, which is 3840 by 4800 at 72 PPI. It doesn't matter what like uh, size you use of artboard or the resolution, this all works for, for any kind. So just go ahead and choose whichever artboard size that you're happy with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create that. Just gonna give this a name for my artboard here. The first thing I'm gonna do is change the background color. So it's not gonna be white and it's not gonna be black. It's gonna be somewhere in between like a light gray. So what I'm gonna do is click on the layer on the right hand side here. I'm gonna go over to the uh, paint chooser or the color picker. I'm gonna go down and just choose like a kind of light gray. Then I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool here, uh, which is in this drop down. you'll see here, paint bucket tool. And I'm just gonna dye or like fill this background out with this gray. This is only so we can see the effect at work and we know what we're working with and then we'll remove this later on. So the next step is to add a text layer and what I'm gonna do is hit T on the keyboard. That's gonna bring up our type tool and I'm just gonna click anywhere on the artboard to add our text in. Now you can see it's still this gray color. So what I'm gonna do is just change that to black. Now I can see what we're working with. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can use this for illustrations or you can use this for like images with threshold. But for this tutorial, we're gonna use text and I'm gonna use this font called New Hass Grotesque Display. Just a simple sans serif font. But like I said, it works with literally any font. So I'm gonna do like, this is what ink bleed looks like. Just something to see the effect. And then I've got like the spacing brought in quite a distance by like min minus 40 pixels, just so you can see the effect. It works best when the, the text is close together. So I'm just gonna make that a bit bigger, center it up. I'll probably just reduce the thickness as well. Okay, so now we've got that text in place. What we're gonna do is add a stroke effect around the text. So what you're gonna do is double click uh, on your layer here, and it's gonna bring up the layer style panel. Then you're going to go down to where it says stroke and I've added a stroke effect into like this drop down so I can quickly access it and you would do that by clicking the plus icon here. But so I'm going to access that stroke by clicking on it. Uh, and then what you're going to do is choose the size to be like 70 pixels. You're going to choose the opacity at 100%, make sure the position is on the outside, blend mode is normal and then use a white color. So just keep it uh, as the hex code is F, 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 keep that there. So now it should look something like this. And this is why we had that gray background is so we can see the stroke outline. So once you've done that, just simply click OK. So you're probably looking at this right now and thinking this looks nothing like ink bleed. That's because this is like the basis for our effect. So what we're gonna do is right click on this layer, convert to a smart object, and now we're gonna start applying some filters. Before you do that, just go to your color picker and check on the left hand side that you've got black as the foreground and plain white as the background. So you'll see it should look like this here. Now, once you've done that, we're gonna go up to filter, filter gallery, and you're gonna bring up the stamp tool, which is underneath sketch. So you can go to sketch and then stamp. And already, if we zoom out here, you can see this is start to smooth off the edges and start to blend some of the letters together. This is exactly what we want. Now, what you can do is you can play around with this and you can choose how like smoothed out the text you, like, you want it to be, whether you want it to blend more together or not. Um, I like to go for somewhere in the middle for both. So something like, I've got it set to 27 light and dark balance and 30 smoothness. And you can see those two O's are like blended together. So like I said before, if you want more of the text to like meet each other and blend, what you need to do is bring the spacing of the text in and that will bring more of those letters and kind of join them together. If you don't want them to join together and you just want them to be rounded on the corners then space those out a little bit more. Now once you've done that, click OK and you can see this effect now starts to take shape. The next thing to do is convert it to a smart object once again. So now this is set the effect inside the smart object and we can apply another effect on top. So we're gonna to go to filter again, filter gallery, and then this time we're not gonna to go to sketch, we're gonna to go to brush strokes. So go to brush strokes and click on spatter. So 
So now we're on spatter, you can see the edges have started to become a little bit rippled, a little bit rough. Now you can adjust this again and see how much roughness you want. I like to keep it a little bit bumpy, but not too uh, distorted. So something like radius six and smoothness 10 is pretty good for me. Now you've added that, click okay. And we're gonna convert that into a smart object once again. So now we've got our stamp effect on there, we've got our spatter effect on there, and we're gonna add one final effect, and that effect is called Torn Edges. So go to Filter, Filter Gallery, then go down to Sketch, and then choose Torn Edges. And so we're actually not gonna use the Torn Edges part of this filter, we're gonna use the Contrast function. And what that does is we can start to add some like white speckles into this text. And that gives us like our distressed and distorted effect. So something like 22 contrast, you can adjust the smoothness again if you wanna like tighten up some of those edges. I'm gonna keep that at around 13. And then image balance as well is gonna kinda of help uh, bring some of those, make those edges more thick. So I'd keep your image balance at like 40, something like that. Okay, now click OK. And you can now see, if we zoom in, we've got like the ink bleed effect, the text, some of the letters are like blending together. We've got like rough edges and now we've got some like distressed effect on the actual text. And so now what we're gonna do is get rid of that white outline. So we're gonna convert it into a smart object. Then we're gonna double click on that layer and it's gonna bring up the layer style panel again. Then we're gonna to go to this blend if section here. We're gonna select where it says this layer. We're gonna grab onto the white kind of like slider here and we're just gonna drag that down and just drag that until you can't see the white anymore. Then click OK. So now we've removed the white stroke from the text. And then what we're gonna do is one more time, create that into a smart object, like so. So that produces what I think is a pretty cool ink bleed distressed effect. And it's really easy to do, and you can use it on any font, any illustration, it works really well. If you wanna change the color of this text though, what you'll need to do, instead of going into the original smart object and changing it, you'll need to do this using the layer style panel. So double click on this layer, in the layer style panel, go down to color overlay and then just choose your color here. Uh, this is the best way to do this that I've found. So it, it keeps it looking the same, you just get to change the color. And then once you've done that, click OK and it's still good to go. So there you have it, that's a really easy way to get an ink bleed distressed effect on your text. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.